The songs stand out as some of the biggest hits of all time. Only now, they seem to carry a new and perhaps darker meaning. Michael Jackson's musical legacy tarnished after the latest child molestation allegations coming from the two-part documentary Leaving Neverland televised this week. He told me if they ever found out what we were doing, he and I would go to jail for the rest of our lives. Three Kojiko-owned Montreal radio stations have now removed Jackson's music from their playlists, saying they are being attentive to listeners' comments. Because if you're listening just to the song, you could also just not know who he is. So, but I also understand if some places stop playing it because... It's making a statement. I mean, I'm not sure what else you can do in this uh, crazy world we live in. It's all these things coming out. So I think you have to support uh, those kind of ideals. A little bit presumptuous. I know the allegations there, but until we have evidence that it's true, it's a little unfair. At this point, our parent company, Rogers Media, has not made any changes at its radio stations and is continuing to evaluate the situation. The impact of Michael Jackson's legacy goes well beyond how his fans feel about his songs. According to Forbes magazine, Jackson was the highest paid dead celebrity last year, bringing in $400 million. So if you're a fan and you want it, uh, you can get it. Uh, I think... If it were up to me, as if I were a radio programmer, I would look at things very carefully and say, you know what, let's just quietly get rid of this stuff. Well-known music journalist Alan Cross has documented the industry through his radio programs for years and says this could forever alter our impression of music's biggest star. It's very possible that this hinge point will is the beginning of the demise of a $2 billion Michael Jackson industry.